Let's make a video. Let's make sure I'm centered. Am I centered? <sighs> Who knows? Hello, welcome to a new video. Today we're going to be trying on some wigs. Yay! It's been a while since I've done a wig try on video and I got this um, array of cosplay wigs from Unzi quite a while ago so I've been meaning to do this video for forever. Um, so we're finally gonna finally gonna do it. Thanks Unzi for being so patient with me. Uh, yeah, today I'm basically just gonna do a chill little like wig try on. Um, like I said, the wigs that I'll be showing you guys were given to me by Unzi, which is a website that I've collaborated with many times before. I really enjoy their wigs. I've been using a couple of them for recent cosplays and they've worked really well. I've really enjoyed them and I'll talk more about that uh, later on. As usual, uh, this is not a paid video. All the wigs were given to me free of charge for the purposes of doing this video for you guys. But regardless, I'm always gonna be completely honest about how I feel about a given product or service. I got my, my beautiful egg form going on. I know, very beautiful, such a look. I'm ready to go, let's, let's do this. I'm also very dead because quarantine is it's going. So all the wigs I'm gonna be trying in this video were chosen with a specific cosplay in mind. As you guys probably can tell, I have a lot of wigs and I only needed like a couple for actual projects. Um, so I actually reached out to some friends and asked if anybody needed wigs for anything. So there will be a little bit of method behind the madness. Okay, so our first wig. Ooh, very nice. This is a long kind of dark brown almost black wig. This is a pretty like standard cosplay wig. So it would work for multiple different characters. Uh, the friend who asked for this wig said that it was for her Veronica cosplay. I don't actually know what Veronica because I thought it was Veronica from Heathers but I realized she has short hair. So I don't actually know. But regardless, um, <laughs> I said there'd be a method behind the madness. I guess that wasn't as true as I thought. But either way, this is a very kind of standard hair color. Uh, this could be used for an array of different characters. Um, it's very nice. The mix of uh, color is beautiful, especially under this lighting. The hair looks really natural. And like I always tend to harp on, it holds up really well under the studio lighting. It looks like real hair. It's not overly shiny. It has a really, really nice finish to it. And I just like, you can kind of, you can see it when the light passes through it, but it's a nice mix of like, black and brown, very, very pretty. It uh, has a beautiful scalp top as these wigs tend to have. And then a little fringe at the front, which I think this is gonna be like a lot of wigs I've tried on where the fringe is quite thin. That is kind of something that I usually have to fight on with these wigs is figuring out how to work with the bangs because they're usually quite thin in the front. So anyway, let's pop this on. All right, here's wig number one. The bangs are a little bit long for me as what tends to happen. Here we are. So I really like how this hair looks, it looks so natural. Just the finish of the hair and like the color and everything, I love it. The wig cap is a really, really nice size. Yeah, and in true to fashion, um, it is a thinner, a thinner fringe. I think there's meant to be like a little bit of a gap on either side. So the main thing that I look out for is making sure that like my hair underneath is not visible. But overall, um, exactly what I expected. Very nice, I like it. Yeah, the only thing that I would do is obviously cut the bangs and then put some pins here just to help hide my hair. But overall, like I, I really dig the color and I really like just how natural it looks, so. Thumbs up from me and I think my friend, whatever Veronica she ends up cosplaying, will really enjoy this wig. Yeah. I like it. All right, let's move on to our next wig. So our next wig is this short kind of wavy uh, blue wig, which a friend requested for her Jester cosplay from Critical Role. Um, don't ask me anything about Critical Role. I've never listened to it. I'm just, I'm just trying on this wig. Um, right off the bat, very, very cute style. Um, very similar to the blonde wig that I always wear. It being kind of more of an artificial color, it is a little bit on the shinier side, but not not too bad, but it's definitely shinier than this wig. Um, one thing that I'm noticing is that it has a really nice blend, um, and I really like it when blue wigs do this. Uh, it has a nice blend of royal blue and black, and the black is usually to kind of ground the blue a little bit more, make it look kind of more natural, give it some some variance so it isn't just like blue. Um, this usually photographs really well. It's something that I really like when wigs do rather than it just being like plain blue. I find that, like I said, uh, having the black in there kind of helps to ground it. So um, I'm pretty excited to try this one on again. Nice scalp top, love it. Looks, looks very natural and it looks like the bangs are gonna be very similar uh, to these bangs. So um, yeah, let's try it on. I think it's a really, really cute style. Oh my goodness. Okay, so the wig cap in this wig is so 
much smaller than the last one. It's so tiny. My head is struggling, man. My head is struggling to like stay in this wig. But luckily the friend who I'm gonna be giving this to has very short hair, so she will uh, not have this problem. But if you do have long hair, uh, getting this wig on is probably gonna be a struggle. I can see that it does have a pocket up here. I've talked about that in previous videos. There's usually like a built-in pocket towards the crown of the head um, to stuff all your hair into. My hair is bunched up more down there, so maybe wearing my hair differently would help. It's a tight squeeze, man. I don't think this one suits me as much, and it might look better on camera, but looking at it IRL, it does look very shiny. This is not a wig that I personally would use for myself. I do wish it wasn't as shiny as it is, and it just does not fit my head very well. But again, I think the friend who's gonna be using it for a Jester cosplay will have a good time using it, because again, she has so much less hair than I do, so <laughs> That will be fine. Um, but personally, not a big fan of this one. Moving on to our next wig. I chose this one kind of just to have it on hand because it's a very versatile um, hairstyle that rhymed and I did not mean for it to, but here we are. So this is a nice little straight short bob that is a dark brown kind of similar to the first wig that we tried, but a shorter variation. Um, I've never actually tried a wig like this before with like the, the straight fringe and just like being a straight um, brown bob. I actually don't wear brown wigs uh, all that often. So whenever I do, it's a little bit like, whoa, what is this, right? Seeing myself with brown hair, definitely a rare occurrence. Um, so yeah, so let's let's pop this sucker on and see how it is. It'll definitely be a new experience for me. <laughs> Ooh, hello. I should have brought a comb into my filming space, but um, apparently that that that's thinking too far ahead. So I'm just gonna use a ruler to, this is so stupid. Here we go. Here she is. Um, obviously the fringe could be neater, but for right now it's not. Uh, this is beautiful. I'm really digging this. Wow. Um, like I said, I've never worn a hairstyle like this and I love it. I love how it's got that slit kind of longer in the front and then it gets shorter towards the back. The wig cap feels great. It does not feel tight like the last one. So that's really good. I'm liking these bangs. I think the fringe is actually not too bad. It is obviously on the thinner side, but it doesn't look bad at all. Um, I quite like it. Obviously with a little brush, it will look good. I think the color is awesome. It's this really nice deep brown, which I, I really like. And it looks very natural. It looks like real hair, and especially under this uh, direct lighting. So this is definitely a thumbs up for me. It's definitely, like I said before, a versatile kind of cosplay hair style to have. So um, I'm excited to use this for stuff. I love this. This is, this is nice. I feel very cute. I feel cute, but also fierce and I love it. Mm. Next up, we're gonna go back into the unnatural color realm with this uh, green wig. I've only tried on one other green wig before in my entire life. And it was like this vivid green that I used for my Ramona Flowers cosplay. So um, I'm very much not used to wearing green wigs. So I'm excited to try this on and see, see how it looks. So my friend requested this for her Femme Beetlejuice cosplay, which obviously I think this is a perfect choice. It's very cute. It's a little kind of on the messier uh, side style wise. And it has this really nice mix of greens, kind of goes between this light green and this kind of yellowy green, which I think is very nice. It gives a nice variance um, and it's not a super kind of loud green. It's a nice kind of muted and more natural looking one. Um, and her idea is that she's going to paint in some roots, which I think is gonna look very, very nice. So overall, I'm excited to try this on. Um, it, it looks really nice under the lighting, looks nice and natural and the hairstyle is super cute. So let's try it on. Ooh, this is cute. Can I be Shrek? Get out of my swamp. I really like this color of green. It doesn't like overpower at all. And it again, looks kind of more natural. You know, if someone actually had naturally green hair, this is kind of the color that would be. It's not like a neon green. It's not like a super forest green. I quite like it. I like the two alternating colors. It gives a nice variance, gives it some dimension. Really cute hairstyle, especially for what my friend's gonna be using this for. Like it, it's, it's a little bit messy. It's a little bit grunge and I like that. And it has this cute side bang on the front and it's not overly thin. Like it's, it's concealing my hair really well towards the front. So that's not an issue at all. Um, wig cap feels great size wise. I really like this. I would definitely recommend this one. I'm really enjoying this. And I think, yeah, it's gonna look fantastic with her cosplay so. Thumbs up here. All right, so the last two wigs that I was given, I've actually since used for cosplay. So one of them um, is actually my Charlie wig, which looks like this originally. And then here I am 
using it for Charlie so you guys can see. Um, she's kind of a mess right now though, so I didn't wanna like put on a messy wig for this video. But if you are wondering where my Charlie wig came from, it did come from Unzi and I've been very happy with it. And then the other one, I originally chose it for a completely different cosplay, but um, since choosing it, I decided that I want to cosplay Millie. So it's actually my Millie wig, um, complete with the two little horns sewn into the front. So um, to finish off this video, I'm gonna pop this wig on and talk about it. And I have the advantage that I've worn this wig quite a bit and have shot photos in it and everything. So I can give a little bit more insight into actually wearing it for a cosplay. She's a little bit messy, but I'm um, not too bad. Let's pop her on as our fun finale to this wig try on video. <laughs> Ah, oh, I've lost it. I, I really have. Hello. What a beautiful, subtle look we have going on right now. Um, I really like this wig. I like how it looks under lighting. It is a little bit shinier, but black hair tends to naturally be shinier, and it, it does emulate that. It doesn't look artificially shiny. It just looks kind of black hair shiny. I think the style is so adorable. I love the curls um, so much. Her hair doesn't actually have curl in it, but I I decided to go with this wig and I really like how it looks. Um, it holds up really well in multiple lighting situations. It's looked really good in photos and it's very comfortable. Fits my hair really nicely. The only problem that I've had is that the fringe towards the front is very, very thin. Um, and just the fact that I have these two horns here, this hair can't move forward to kind of help to cover the front of my head like it does with the other wigs. Um, so you can see it when I was doing my mukbang video, you tend to see like my little blonde hair towards the front. So when I actually wore her to a convention most recently, what I did was I took some black eyeshadow and I just kind of colored in the roots of my hair so that whenever this would part and show my hair, it would just look like part of the wig and that worked incredibly well. Yeah, I really like this wig. I think it's super cute. So yeah, that's a chill little wig try on wig review. Did do some review viewing in this video um a chill wig video thanks for watching <laughs> i'm i'm so out of it um i hope that you guys enjoyed this uh again if you guys enjoy these wig trend videos let me know would love to do more definitely have some more planned hope that this helps all of you uh get through quarantine because oh boy has it been a time like i said all these wigs were given to me by unzi and if you are interested in checking them out for yourselves i will have links to their website down in the description as well as direct links to all the wigs that i tried on in this video and you can also use the code anya panda for 10 percent off thanks so much for hanging out with me today and watching me be really awkward um i'll see you guys all next time but until then panda faces please be sure to take care bye <laughs>